Does gaslighting work? Does gaslighting work? What is gaslighting? Gaslighting. Let's read the definition. Gaslighting. Manipulating someone by psychological means into questioning their own sanity. Does it work in politics? Uh, so Chuck Schumer is the was just just gave a press conference on election integrity, weeding out foreign intervention in our uh, in our elections. Now in America we know that the elections are fake. Uh, the Democrats have admitted in in open court that the Democrats can pick the candidate. Right? They pick the candidate. They don't care what the voters say. They pick the candidate, right? They they said they set it up in a way where they pick the candidate, right? So we know we know that it's fake. We know that that they they manipulate the shit out of the you know gerrymandering. Right? So we have fake elections, right? right? But is there a way to really solve that problem? Of course, it's paper ballots. Everybody gets a receipt. You vote, you get a receipt, and then you could stick around and then watch the, the votes be counted, right? Here's my receipt. Do the, does does my district that I just voted in? Do our ballots match that result? Yes or no? Right? And you can you can do stuff like that if you just simply have paper ballots and a and a printed receipt and everybody. But but the point is that Chuck Schumer is they're running they can they're going to just continue to run the lie, right? The the premise of the Mueller report, the predicate crime, is that twelve GRU agents hacked the Democratic National Committee took all that information and dumped it on WikiLeaks. That's, the, that's the, the theory. That's the gaslight story. What actually happened is someone inside the DNC took the emails and handed it off to WikiLeaks, right? And so, so here's Chuck Schumer. You're going to watch Chuck Schumer base his whole lie, his whole political strategy on, on the predicate lie that the Russians, the 12 Russians hacked the Democratic National Committee because Mueller said so. Because it's in the Mueller report. It's official now. So the big move covers the little move. I've said it all along. The big move is, the big move is create this big move of Trump colluded with the Russians and then he obstructed justice to prevent you from finding out that he colluded with the Russians. That's the big move. But the little move is that the Russians hacked the Democratic election, the Democratic primary. Right, which never happened, right? But but what does it cover? It's covering the fact that the Democrats cheated and got caught. That's what it covers. That the elections aren't fair and free, and that quite possibly the leaker got murdered. And we know that the that the the person that actually the publisher of the information is sitting in jail for something unrelated and being politically prosecuted by the United States. And so that's what it covers. Right, so here's Chuck Schumer trying to make a case that we should all just fall in line and, and it's, it's the Republicans' fault that, that we can't get a fair election. Listen to this. Listen, it's just three minutes of absolute unequivocal bullshit. Um, look, this is on a serious subject, which is interference in the elections. Everyone knows that Russia interfered in our elections in 2016. Wrong. Everyone, do you hear what he said? Everyone, everyone knows that Russia interfered with our election. False. That eats at the roots of our great democracy, the oak that has thrived. And the founding fathers themselves, one of their greatest worries was foreign interference in elections. That's not true. The, the, the greatest fear of, the, of our fa founding fathers was not interference in elections because they didn't really have elections. They picked the Senate. They, I think Congress was, was elected, but the president was... There's a very small group of people that voted, right? so it's just bullshit. The Mueller report showed conclusively that Russia interfered in 2016 to help President Trump. <laughs> All right, so Mueller confirms that the Russians interfered to help Trump. That's another lie. The FBI, intelligence agencies agreed. President Putin agreed as well. So the FBI and Putin agree that Russians hacked the election. What kind of shit, what, what, I mean, are we, you're supposed to believe this, right? That eats at the roots. Let's listen to it again. Parents, don't read all these online things, okay? Listen, listen to it again. Hmm? Yeah. Okay, um, look, this is on a serious subject, which is interference in the elections. Everyone knows that Russia interfered in our elections in 2016. That eats at the roots of our great democracy, the oak that has thrived. 
and the Founding Fathers themselves, one of their greatest worries was foreign interference in elections. The Mueller report showed conclusively that Russia interfered in 2016 to help President Trump. The FBI intelligence agencies agreed. President Putin agreed as well. So just last week, Senator McConnell was asked. I mean, did you just hear that? That's like 35 seconds of the most blatant lie. That that, uh, but but again, gaslighting. Will most people watching it? None of the mainstream media will challenge that comment. Right? That's the that's the minority leader of the Senate signaling out to his people. Now you'll hear all the mainstream media repeat the same lie. You'll hear politicians. You want to get elected as a Democrat? Well, then you better repeat the lie. This is the official lie. This is now official. Right? That that uh, Russia did it. Right? But that it's just it's just profound to watch. Right, and it makes you, it makes you, it makes me a little sick because I followed it from the beginning, you know. Why the Senate hasn't voted on election security legislation? Voted on election security legislation. I have no idea what he's talking about or what's in there. But, but Chuck E. Cheese, the, the, the way to election integrity is paper ballots, where everyone gets a paper ballot. There's a paper, there's a paper copy of your, uh, your vote, and out of the machine comes your little receipt. That says, I voted for this guy right here. Here's the guy that I voted for. Let me see the results. Let me see your results as a match what I voted for. Right? It's very simple. He responded by telling reporters that they needed to write about the absence of problems in the 2018 election. Now, here's, here's blame the other guy, right? Now, that, that's not the only, the only interference. It's not just the Democrats, but there's gerrymandering, there's shutting down polling places, there's purging votes. There's a hundred ways to cheat, and they do all of them. But this guy, he's trying to claim that foreign intervention is the, is the key, is the, is the essence of the thing. When, when the Clinton Foundation takes a billion dollars from Saudi Arabia and, and, and Japan and China and anybody else who gives money to the Clinton Foundation and gets a favor out the back door or has that money funneled back into the DNC to directly influence politicians, direct, direct influence by giving them money. That has, that's, that's not even talked about. Right? The, the corrupting power of foreign money flowing into American elections. They want to talk about, uh, you, know, f- you know, somebody hacking a DNC when that never happened, and, and that's, the big, that's the big interference. The big interference is the money pouring into politics, which guys like this will never talk about. Right? It's just Now, Senator McConnell's comments come after learning in the Mueller report. Blame, blame the Republicans. That's his strategy. Report that election systems in Florida counties were hacked by Russia. That's not true. No, no. <laughs> that's another, another lie. Three years later, the public is still learning how Russia interfered with our democracies. Russia did not interfere with our democracies. What, what, what you're doing is, and you're not educating the public. They're not learning anything. They're being programmed. They're being gaslit into believing a lie. Right? And if you start to challenge that lie, like someone like me that almost repeats it on a daily basis, you can, you can start to uh, doubt your own sanity. You start to say, you start to say, my God, it's just people are, you know, they're just so, uh, so corrupt, or maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. It is irresponsible by the Republican leader to, to declare mission accomplished about the 2018 elections. Director Ray of the... You notice he's reading directly off his statement. It's only a three-minute statement. I'm not going to play the whole thing. But it's a three-minute statement where he reads directly off the paper and he's signaling to his Democratic colleagues that this is now the, 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 this is the official narrative going forward. The FBI said, quote, our adversaries are going to keep adapting and upping their game. And he called the midterms a dress rehearsal for the big show. So it's, it's, he's talking about Ray and Ray is going to, you know, uh, that, that the Russians are planning the big move. And it's just, it's just cheating. I mean, the Democrats, if they don't like what happened, if they don't like the outcome of the, of the election, they're going to cry, Russia hacked the election. If, the Demo- if, if Trump loses, Trump's going to cry, oh, Russia hacked the election, right? It's just, there's no integrity whatsoever. I, I mean, it's, really, it's really bad news. Director Ray says things are going to get a lot worse in 2020. And the Republican Senate leader McConnell just stands there and twiddles their thumbs and says almost, come on, Putin, let it happen. Senator McConnell's 
comments are totally uh, in. I can't take much more of this guy, but but you get the point, right? There he is. He's lying his ass off. Lie, cheat, steal, right? That's what they do. Right? So he's telling you he's the gaslighting campaign continues. Chuck Schumer is 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 just you know it's just a liar in chief. I mean it's amazing, amazing times we're living in, right? You know I could very vaguely remember as a kid, you know the first the first election I voted in I think was uh, I think I voted for Reagan in the eighties. I, I must have been like eighteen years old, some shit. I, I don't even remember, but. Um, but but I voted for I voted for Reagan. Why I, I might have voted for Jimmy Carter. I don't I don't even remember. I can't even remember who I voted for. But but the the idea that one person one vote was was valid. I believe it was. I think it was at the time. Democrats and Republicans who put their energy into, you know, uh, campaigning their policies and campaigning for what they you know stood for and all that. And uh, you never you never thought for a second that the elections were fake, but now we know it. We know it com- completely and utterly. And guys like Chuck Schumer just still hold power. You got all mainstream media on board with the fact that Russia hacked an election. That all that that it's 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 already confirmed. You know, both sides of the aisle believe it or, or repeat repeat the lie. People kind of believe it. Most people believe it, right? Because they're too busy to actually you know think for themselves so you know and 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 you now you're gonna have a choir of democrats saying vote for me vote for me vote for me based on what not a single one of them calls out the the fraud not a single one of them has called out the fraud marcus conti reporting